All right, so check it out. You know, of course, what's going on in the world right now? Coronavirus, crazy. Um, we know it's ain't nothing like this, and I've been it's been revealing of a lot of things. Um, it, it happens to come at a time when my faith is on a crazy level. You know what I'm saying? But by far, I'm not saying I'm better Christian or whatever you want to call this that believe in the Bible at all. Um, but I have been seeing, you know, one side of the people who don't believe, who kind of, you know, whatever. Some some people panicking, some people believe in God, but they kind of like, you know, their faith is being tested. Um, but one thing I do want to say, I agree with, you know, the, the posts and the stuff about people saying, what if this is God's, you know what I'm saying, time of like, just basically giving us a chance to spend time with him away from everything else. But on top of that, this is another thing that, that um, came to me. It was like, I believe that this thing that happened that's going on right now is is also God's doing. Because I truly believe everything happens for a reason. And everything happens for the greater good of those who believe and are, are called according to his will. So... I really believe that what's going on right now has a different purpose for each and every person. Like, it's something God is trying to get you specifically to work on. Is it your faith that's being tested? Is it something that you, an addiction he's trying to break from you? Is it something that, you know what I'm saying? Like, something that you got to work on. Some we all, some, he's doing it for a reason for all of us. You know what I'm saying? I I figured out a couple of reasons. This, this is going on specifically for me, you know. And um, one thing I want people to understand, especially Christians, you know what I'm saying, is the importance of fasting and what fasting can do, the power of fasting. And we, we got away from it, you know what I'm saying, because it's just not, you know, we, we got away from a lot of stuff that really we supposed to take serious because of grace and all this other stuff we talk about. And all we in the New Testament and Jesus, we just got to believe what Jesus himself said in the New Testament, um, he talked about when he was telling his people how to fast, what not to do, like not to crinkle your face. So he said, when you fast, not if you fast. So he made it clear that fasting is a basic part of Christian life. Prayer, fasting. You even got some manuscripts when Jesus drove the the spirit, the mute spirit out of the, the bad spirit out of the, the, the boy. Um, and the disciples asked him why we couldn't drive it out. And Jesus said, now it's King James Version. Jesus said, because this spirit only, this only comes out through prayer and fasting. Now the NIV version say prayer, but that's a textual thing. You know what I'm saying? Some manuscripts got uh, prayer and fasting. Some don't, you know, but that's another topic. You know, that's something that you can about. But basically what I'm saying is plenty of times when the Bible where fasting has been mentioned. And it's not just something that's like, you know, for example, what if this is a time like like for you to uh, hone a craft or something? Or have you, when the last time you like read the Bible? Like you talk about God, you post scriptures, when the last time you read the Bible? When the last time you prayed? You know what I'm saying? When the last time you called that family member that you ain't talked to in a while who, you know, you used to talk to? When the last time, you know what I'm saying, you spent time with blah, 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 close family member, insert. Uh, also, I feel like right now would be the perfect time. Like, instead of you trying to figure out, oh, I see people panicking because they can't go to bars and can't go here. can't Like, this is really revealing. It's kind of sickening kind of to me, you know, and it's probably bad to say, but it's, it's revealing like how how much y'all don't know how to be alone. You know what I'm saying? And how, 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 how like sheepish people are. Like you have to, you have to learn how to be alone, bro. Like you have to learn how to go without drugs and go without just being around drinking. Like that's what you look forward to. Like going around people drinking, going out, you know what I'm saying? Going here, always being in the scene, always. And then when you at home, you spend the whole time on your phone, man, look. And I'm not just saying that. I, I, a couple of weeks ago, I just came off a three week fast. I deleted my social media. You know what I'm saying? I uh, 
I only ate fruits and vegetables water. I did like a dang fast. Um, fruits, vegetable water, you know what I'm saying? Nuts sometimes. Uh, no TV. Like I said, no social media, no secular, nothing. So the music I was listening to was, um, it had to be, you know, Christian music. It couldn't be secular music. All So I was feeding my soul, mind, body, and soul, only things of like high vibration. If I could say, you know, like only beneficial things, what I was in, and it really revealed a lot to me. Like, for example, me being away from TV and this and that, social media, I didn't, I didn't crave the stuff that I usually crave. Like it wasn't as bad, you know, and that probably was, you know, I prayed, all I did was pray, I painted, you know, I wrote, read, that I can't stress that enough how important it is. Read, 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 read. And you say you got faith. You got some people say they got faith, but inside you really don't know. You trying to convince God that you got faith. You want you want to show God you got faith in Him and that He's real. Fast. That's when you really. That's when you really. You know, like that's when you really get God moving. <clears throat> when you fast, you basically you're not just saying sending a prayer up and like. Well, I hope this works. You know, that was easy. No, sacrifice something. Sacrifice your flesh. Break your flesh down. Like, it ain't got to be, you ain't got to do what I did, but delete something. You like being on social media? Delete it. Delete it for a few weeks. Matter of fact, this is what I wish everybody would do. I wish everybody would fast into this, into the, because this has been people on record fasting, like, till wars was over. You know what I'm saying? Imagine, like, we know what the Bible said about people coming together and praying. Imagine if we all fasted while this thing was going on. Like, you asking God why and this, and y'all doing I was praying fast. If you really care about helping the world and care about getting this thing over with, then take advantage. Fast. Fast and pray. Spend time with God. And it's not just about fasting, but that's really something that will help you, help the people. Like, when I was fasting, I was praying. I was having dreams every night of just random people that I've met throughout my life, and I was praying for all of them. And um, when I tell you, like, I felt like, I felt untouchable, like, when I was fasting. And after my fast, like, I felt just untouchable. I felt healthy. And I ain't even got to get into the physical benefits of it. But you're dealing with that mental anxiety. You're dealing with all these other things. Fast, fast, you know what I'm saying? Fast to get rid of certain addictions. Fast to get rid of certain vices that you have. Fast to get rid of certain things that you, like, I know this is wrong, God, but I cannot change it. I'm telling you. Give up, give up uh, secular music until this, until, until this over with. You know what I'm saying? Give up, you know, social media. Give up certain TV shows. Give up TV. Give up meat. Give up something that your flesh. When I say flesh, I mean your earthly body. Like it ain't. I ain't talking about just food. But give up something that your flesh craves. You know what I'm saying? And fast. Ask God to send His Holy Spirit to, ask to unite His Holy Spirit to help you out. And it's just something that's just like a lost art, but but yeah, if you're not a believer, cool. That's a different topic. But I just for the believers and the people who call themselves Christians and all of this, that I've been seeing, you know, I've been seeing um, you know, on one side I've been seeing people who, you know, all of a sudden not scared of nothing, like don't want to listen to the rules of social distance distancing because they got God and they, you know, God is gonna protect them from everything, quoting scripture and all of this. Ain't cracked the Bible in five years, you know what I'm saying? Ain't prayed, ain't got on their knees, and I don't know how long. But you know, if you believe God, you know, hey, if that's your belief. And you think the person who you just completely turn away now, you're gonna go to them like they just gonna be your genie, cool. But then you got people who claim to be Christians, who are Christians, who believe, and they, and they like are panicking, and you know, like oh, I'm not ready to go yet, or they thinking like, you know. They buying up everything, and they just, you know what I'm saying? They don't know what to do. Might be praying, I don't know. But if that's you, my suggestion is fast. That's the best thing that anybody can do. That's the best thing we can do with this time. You know what I'm saying? The best thing you can do with this time is fast. And that's all I want to say. But if you watch this, thank you for watching, and I hope. It got through to the person it needs to get through to or the people. Stay blessed.